What the hell is this? Vagistat. <laughs> what? Well, a friend of a friend notified me that on Facebook there is a beetle for sale that he's interested in. And I told him I'd be more than happy to have a look at it, but the uh, guy who's trying to sell it is not currently responding to the messages to anybody except me. <laughs> anyway, he says he's got the car sold already, but somebody's coming for it tomorrow. But uh, I told him if I came for it today and I showed up with cash, could we have a deal today? And his answer was, come look now. So we're going to go have a look at this beetle with uh, my friend Thomas, who's interested in it. And if Thomas doesn't buy it, for the price that it is, and if it is as good as he describes, I'm going to take it. So anyway, we're off to Milton, and we're going to go find out what we've got over there. And if this is a car that uh, Thomas wants to get into. That'd be a good change. Going from the S10, a 90, 95 S10, uh -huh. to this. I'd say. Now, I probably can hook up a trail hitch right here and still get a sailboat and tow that sailboat. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would do that. I mean, you could if it's a small well, utility trailer, but I don't know about putting a sailboat. <laughs> Maybe a dinghy. As long as you got a little dinghy. No, I think you could, man. You got a little dinghy? <laughs> oh, no, I don't have a little dinghy. <laughs> If that's what you're referring to. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this looks pretty pretty good. Here we see. Shiny floors. Yeah, new rubber sails for the, for the tire. Yeah. Heater channels look to be in good shape too. Somebody undercoated them and kept them clean. Did you yeah, find the a whole, football? The whole floor pan is yeah. replaced. Yeah, I see that from underneath, you can tell. Yeah, it's all clean and shiny. Oh, don't it's really cool. screw up see, all the trim. The window pieces are all around. Oh, you got a new windshield. Brand new windshield. Yeah. Yep. Good, because yep. I was going to say. <laughs> brand new windshield. Can't see. Yeah. That's an easy fix. Now you don't probably. have to call your insurance company. <laughs> Interior looks. Little puddle. Yep, interior is no big deal. You're gonna need some interior, man. Oh yeah. You only need a back seat if you There's have a girlfriend. No yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't uh, need <laughs> this is gonna be a two-seater Beetle. <laughs> That's the way my oval is anyway, because I had to put the seats further back because I'm so tall. Oh, uh, I got you. So I it goes you. right against the back seat. There's yeah. no room for anybody to sit there. So it's a utility place. Right. You just throw your tools on the seat. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Beetle I have, man. Did you? Oh yeah. Hey, Glenn. Yeah. How long do you think it'll take to restore this whole thing? Well, it depends on what you want to restore. I mean, you want to just to drive it? Well, drive, electricity. If you're looking just to drive it and have it running, I mean, it might be just a couple weekends. Yeah. But if you want to go a complete restoration, that's up to you and how fast you can throw money into it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, my oval's been down for two years, but the oval was under six feet of seawater for a week. Yeah, and then left the rock for 10 years outside. Oh, wow. So I pieced it back together from nothing, and two years later, it's solid again. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually made money on that car because I sold all the junk off of it. Right. It was in bad, too bad a shape for me to be interested in, and people were buying it. It was full of holes, but it's original part. <laughs> Take <crazy>. it. <laughs> well, I tell you what, Tommy, I like it. Me too. What do you want to do? It takes a couple of weekends to fix this sucker up. I say a couple At least weekends. To get it running and stuff. Well, you might have it running today. I mean, even it, it depends on on the condition of the electrical that's on there. Make sure you get compression and make sure your valves are opening properly. The distributor cap is off. Well, that's not you a big deal. It that's, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's not a big deal. You can do it without tools. Oh. You got a good piece of property over here. That's Wish I had right. this much space. I need to close it off though. Yeah, I've got 11 Volkswagens at one point in a little tiny yard. <laughs> no. Fuel, line and filter, right? Bumps. Nope, look what you did, now it's yours. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> falling apart. Okay, got, you got a Monza style exhaust on there. They're gonna restore it. Are you? Yep. As far as restoring, I mean, it's not well, bad. I guess you'd be a daily driver, right, at first. Glenn, how many Beetles do you have right now? Right now? Uh, two? 
Nice. If you count all the chassis, though, it's like six. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Actually got about four four titles, I guess you could say. Oh, four wow. Beatles. Nice. Four okay. <laughs> and the Gia and the bus and the sand rail and the type three and <laughs> And actually, I'm downsized. They used to have twice as many, so that was a pain in the oh, ass. Wow. I have a really small yard. I'm mean, smaller than the front yard, oh, my backyard, wow. and I had them all lined up in a row. Thankfully, neighbors couldn't see it. Six foot fence. Yeah, Nobody they, complains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they always see a different car in a driver. They, where do you put all these things? In storage. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're in storage. <laughs> I don't say where the storage is. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> we got a new firewall in there. That's a very, very expensive part. I think those suckers are like five hundred dollars alone. So consider that right there. No, you're definitely gonna put more money into this. You can get a thousand, you're gonna have to buy the other parts too. too. Work on them. Well, Tom, I say pull the trigger. Chris, right? Yes, sir. Chris, we can make a deal tonight. Got to be for that thousand or thousand. That's it. That's it. That's where I'm at on it too. I mean, what do you think, Tom? I hate to be dishonest to this other guy. He really wanted it. He's, he yeah, has about 20 of these Volkswagens, but oh, you know, wonder who he first is. come, first serve. You bet know. you I know him. <laughs> wife passed away. They were about to uh, completely restore this thing. Oh, is that the story? Yeah, but since his wife passed away, that's not going to happen. I see. Do we have record of who the owner is? Maybe may be able to chase down the title. I know I got the guy's name of who owned it, but... Oh, that helps. That helps. I mean, if you need to get a title, I can get you a title. It's just going to cost. Yeah, that helps. I understand. We could do it, too. I mean, I, I could pay for it. But if we have the guy's name, you never know. Right, right. I'm like, oh, it's in the well, filing cabinet. He told me he didn't have yeah. a title, is what he told me. So I don't know what they, what, you know. Yeah, I bought a 65 like that, and, and I tracked the previous owners, uh, several previous owners, about seven owners before me, oh, wow. down on Facebook. Uh. And I contacted her and didn't even say anything. I just sent her a picture of the Beetle. And she goes, is that my car? I said, I think it is. I said, everybody just has bill of sales. There's no title on this yeah. thing. She goes, what well, was in Mississippi? There was no title yeah, on it. Yeah, Alabama the same way. Right. Yeah. So I said, well, what can you do? And she says, um, I still have the registration paper. How about I send you a bill of sale and a registration? I said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> bill of sale for 100 bucks, I think it was, which is pretty much what I got it for. And uh, the title, I think I walked out of the, uh, the uh, tax office for less than 100 bucks. Oh, nice. <laughs> Usually, if I gotta get titled, man, it costs me 150 bucks to get titled. Yep. Takes yep. 31 days. You can always do it through Vermont, also, or friend in Alabama method. There you go. Yep. Or I could dig through my my drawer and see what I got. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if we're gonna make a deal tonight, I didn't even go to the bank. I got the cash. Don't worry about it. You stop at the bank afterwards. I'm prepared. I don't mess around. No, you I told you I don't mess around. You need to say my number because I got. Guys, it's got another Volkswagen I can get, and those little the bodies to go on these little frames. Uh-huh. Those fiberglass. Uh, oh, the Manx buggies? Yeah. He's got like three of them sitting out in the field. All the windows are in the I can just imagine myself driving to college. There you go. Hey, that, man, they're cool cars, man. Imagine the bitches I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's working for me. <laughs> if I had the time, it would be, I would love to have kept it and done something with it. But. That's right, these Volkswagens get me to girls your age. <laughs> True story. <laughs> well, if you're in it, I'll grab you the, the green. You, you like that? You guys have a way of getting it? I do. Yeah, yeah, I got a tow bar. I mean, if we put air in the tires, I could even pull it right now. Do you have a tow bar with you? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's not a super beetle, right? No. No, it's a... Yeah, standard. Super standard beetle. Standard wide fenders, right? Uh, well, they have the wide hood, the narrow fenders. Oh, okay. Yeah, they skinnied up the fenders and made up the space in the trunk instead. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Because I had a super beetle, I just couldn't remember what was the difference. I thought the fenders were wider or something on them. Yeah, the uh, the fenders in the front were actually skinnier because what oh, they did okay. was they widened the, the hood in the trunk. Okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, so the fenders actually, they pushed them kind of inwards on the inside. The outside was still about the same. I got you. Yeah. And then, of course, later years, they rounded the windshield. Yeah, yeah. Look at him digging. He's all excited here. 
I'll try and take a seat. You gonna sit in there? There's awful lot of squirrel shit on the seat. Yeah, that looks like squirrel shit, all right. <laughs> this is squirrel shit right here. It looks like squirrel shit. <laughs> I've seen enough of it over the years. It's always in a Volkswagen for some reason. Okay, I'll just put this on top of it. There we go. You good? <laughs> Watch your toes. Yours is in better shape than Carlos's is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait until he sees. <laughs> How much did Carlos buy his for? 800. Oh, okay. You can do too bad. It had a built up engine in it, too. So. Oh, really? But I mean, the body's in bad shape. <laughs> right. Electrical was a mess. He wow. should have bought it for 500. Yeah, well, anything you could get a better deal on, he always should. But uh, this one, I mean, I think it's every penny for what you're, you're, uh, you're asking for, for sure. I mean, you put a few weekends of work into it, too, and even if you don't keep it, you could turn a profit on it. Yeah. So. This is. What was that? The horn? <laughs> it sounded like the horn, but oh, real so weak. I, th I thought I saw like a 70s Playboy magazine. It's alright. It's just. Ah, oh, that's a damn shame. <laughs> well, Find a vintage never... porno mag? That would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, I found some really weird stuff in Volkswagens before, but not a porno magazine. Carl, show me that little YouTube video you, uh, you posted. Like when you saw. Uh, oh, the pot, right. You the bag, found of, a bag pot. of pot. Right here. <laughs> right up there. Right up under the headliner. Somebody replaced it at some point, and yeah, it was lost up in, the, in there. That's funny. That was a remarkable story. I, think we should take it, Glenn. I, I agree. I agree. We, we can get some air in the tires here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should do it. Let's do it. Where are we going to put it? Night, night. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Carl said he, he offered his uh, his driveway. You gonna put it in his driveway? Yep. Can't put it in your place? Uh oh, why? Not, 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 not right here. Well, hi. Something going on? No, no, no. They know There's what story I'm doing. Here. <laughs> we just don't have any space in the driveway. Oh, it's no room. Well, no room and no room. I got you. I thought there was a story. I'm waiting for some really cool story here. <laughs> my mom's gonna kick my ass. Again. <laughs> I never have cool stories. <laughs> Alright, well, come with me for a second and we'll go. Uh, Hop in my car real quick and just make sure this is really what you want. Yes! That's it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if not, we're going to make sure we didn't waste Chris's time. All right? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, come talk with me for a minute. Let's do it. <laughs> Looks like you got a deal. Okay. This is the fun part right here. Look at that. Yes, please. And I guess we need to get this thing. Yeah, off the trailer. Let him finish uh, putting this oil in this car. No problem. Then I'll, he'll move and I can unload this. No worries, I gotta put my tow bar together anyway. I'm driving the weirdest looking tow truck ever. <laughs> Everybody gets a kick out of that. Yep, the Z is doing its job once again. I love that car. I really do. <laughs> I love this car. I feel good, man. I do feel you? really good. 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 And those tires do look good. They look really good. They still have sharp edges on them like they've never been driven yeah. on. Treads are amazing. I mean, I don't know how old they are. We'd have to check the date code. But, uh... I'm not seeing any dry rot. None. I don't see it on this side. Clean hairs off of it. <laughs> oh, it's got a little nick <laughs> the in the side one. Spider. Yeah, spider it's just wood. a little nick. No, no big. Got rubbed on something. It's not actually cut through. Yeah, yeah this one. No, is that a, yeah, it's a little crack starting to form right here. That one you might have to address down the road. It doesn't look dangerous, not yet. Until then. Depending upon how you drive, you might actually uh, wear them out before that splits. <laughs> <laughs>
No, this looks good. Puts, puts in first gear, pop. I don't even see a hole up under here. This is another no, place looks... they like to rust. It's right here. Right there. That spot. Yeah, there's no hole, so that's good. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> That's it. Gotta get you a, a dropped axle beam, some air shocks. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> hey. a hobby, bro. What it's you gonna do? Hobby. Sell the S10 now? Well, I'm gonna keep it for now. Yeah, you might need to tow this. Yeah, and my S10 <laughs> has the uh, has a tow hitch. Well, you're oh, does it? it? Yeah. yeah. So you, you can tow it now, but once we go to Texas, I have the S10. I can tow this. Sucker. Okay. And that means between you and Carlos, you got a yeah. one tow bar. <laughs> so which one of you gets to come to tech session depends on who uh, who gets the tow bar. <laughs> Although Carlos is, well, he's not running. He blew that spark plug out. No. He wants to fix it, though. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to do that. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be following what I'm telling him, but uh, he'll like get he it figured out. It? Oh, there's a little bitty hole down there, something to fix. Right in there. Yeah. See the crack? Way up in there, right there. Yeah, that's gonna need a patch. But uh, the good news is, when I saw you open these doors, is the door didn't fall down. <laughs> well, when you pull this door and it falls down, it means it's broken on the bottom. This one's not broken. You see how it's not busted there at all? There's no crack all the way around that. Yeah, that's usually what happens to them. They break right there. Interior can come later. And they usually get a hole right back here too. And uh, it looks like there might have been, yeah, there was a repair there, but there's no hole currently. I don't see any evidence of crash damage either. Yeah, no wrinkles or any, uh... No, this thing's probably ne never been accident. Accident. So, crash damage. <laughs> to Tom? Yeah. You can say, you can put down Tommy. T-O-M-M-Y. Last name? Aiden Sam. A-D. Looks like this has been treated with acid too to stop it from rusting. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I do to all mine. You tell me acetone? Acid. Oh, acid. Let me put phosphoric acid on there. Go down. 100 bucks. What? Okay. What do you think? Well, the wires look good, right? Well, you never can tell what they, they do. Until Just because they look good doesn't mean they're good good. What the hell is that? Oh, I've never seen one of those voltage regulators before. Motorola one. I hm. wonder what that's from. Like the Z has got tow truck duty again. Tow bar. Tow hitch. Tow Thomas. <laughs> tow beetle. Tow beetle. Big toe. <laughs> Camel toe? <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> Delicious. We don't need no stinking ramps. Just drive Push the off no, just it. drive the truck forward real fast. <laughs> 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 Come right off the end there, no problem. You know I uh, like the uh, the cloth and the table trick. Right, exactly right. All right. Is that a neutral? Do you break off? Is it running? <laughs> Back to the right a little bit. There you go. Back to the left a little bit. All right, right there. There you go. Was that brakes or was that just on its own? I think that was on its own. So you break off all the way? It's, it's, it's off. Okay. I'm gonna put it back on. Just hope it's not gonna drag too much. <laughs> How long has it been sitting? I think, I think it's been sitting, he said about a year. About a year, was it outside? No, inside. Inside, it's okay, inside. good. And the brake shouldn't be rusted then, that's just a good thing. Cause it looked like it was sticking a little bit. Yeah, he said his wife died, and this was his project, or their project, but she died. Uh -huh. And he had a Harley, he, he didn't want to sit out in the rain. The Harley's going to move this out of the way. Swap them. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That's all you need. So he called me and 
So I went over the... <laughs> Leave that in there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, otherwise the steering wheel locks and I can't tow it. <laughs> Put it in there and turn it on as far as it goes. See? Hey, you would have screwed me over. Did you build, did you build that tow bar for... No, I bought that one that way. Oh, okay. It, uh, it's a nice tow bar. It'll tow buses and beetles. Really? Yeah, the guy really thought ahead when he built that. And it's extra long, too, which so stops bumpers from banging. Yeah. Volkswagen. Yep, and it's heavy gauge, too. I mean, you pick that thing up, it's heavy. It's not like the cheap Chinese ones that they make nowadays. That's pretty cool, man. Well, bud, if you guys ever need anything, send my number. Thank you, I appreciate no it. No problem, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. You know, send me a picture one day. Let's do that. You ready? Yeah, let's get this rolling. All right. Let's get, let's get this on the road. Yeah, like I can reach 10 feet. Well, when you get up, right. step on my camera, it's going to cost you another 500 bucks. You're going to step all over me. Get the pin out of there. Down. Down. Oh, right there. This pin can go in another direction. I do it by feel, so. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh shit, you know, we need to borrow a wrench too. I gotta tighten them bolts up on that uh, section in the middle there. Let's ask for a wrench. An adjustable wrench would be fine. Step on the camera. Mm -hmm. I'll kill you. You will get murdered. <laughs> it's fine, that's fine. Yep, we need a wrench. <laughs> First, I thought that was uh, some type of joke. <laughs> it's someone's bank statement. No, we don't someone's need that. That's money. private. Don't put that on video. Right. Where's the bitch paper? Is this it? I'm looking at the bitch <laughs> this is paper. It. This is what we found. Terms of mating. And then the next thing I saw was owner's signature of bitch. <laughs> Apparently it was for, for, for puppies, um, yeah, mating, mating dogs, yeah, yeah. but as soon as I saw it, I thought this was some type of Valentine's gag joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. Once these are receipts. roto rooter yeah. Plumbing. You got a registration paper? 
Golf Power Company. Oh, do you have names and addresses? Hang on to this, there's a name and an address. You might be able to locate the uh, owner and get the paperwork. Keep this in my pocket. Same with uh, that, that's William apparently was the previous owner's name. There's a phone number, don't have any idea. All right, you about done? We are moving to our new office. Yeah, that's a flyer. <laughs> oh, Came with an appointment card too. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's Sandy Sansing. Sandy Sansing, huh? Is that it? Mr. William something. Mike's sold by Mike Stewart. What the hell is this? Vagistat. <laughs> what? Vagistat? What Save is this $2 for? coupon for Vagistat. The hell is, is this? Is your pussy hurting? <laughs> <laughs> Burn relief. Yeah, itch. like I said, is your pussy hurting? No. I'm <laughs> Actually, you could redeem that, and you really only spent, you know, two dollars less than what you paid today. I'll give it to my future <laughs> girlfriend. Oh Jesus! If you got her messed up like that, well, maybe you found her that way. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Are right, you ready to go? Yeah. I'm You're gonna good. follow me? Yeah, I can follow you. That's out. probably a good idea. Let me keep this. Be easy on the doors, you don't have to slam them. Watch. <laughs> yeah? What you thinking? I want to make love to it. Um, <laughs> at least wait until you get home. Hey, by the way, let's take some of that crumpled up paper and then pack it down that intake manifold. In case we stir up some shit on the road here. Well, stick your peep down the uh, intake manifold. Use a tuna can. Oh my god, that joke. When I told it to one of my coworkers, they thought it was funny as hell. There you go. You're good. Just to keep the dirt out. I know when I open this, sand just fell down, so it's got some shit in there. It won't kill the engine, but hopefully it's nothing big like nuts and bolts. Close up that glove box. My dirty old tow truck once again saves the day. All right, I'm gonna follow you, Glenn. Cool. All right, there it is. Tommy's Beetle. Get a couple things needs to address, like missing carburetor. I shoved some paper down uh, in the intake manifold there. This didn't seem like a good idea for that to be left open. Apparently it had been left open that way in a garage for a long time. Garage is of course better than sitting in uh, the outdoors. But what I'll probably do is I'll stick something magnetic down in the intake manifold and see if anything comes out of there. Probably be a better idea even to take the intake manifold off and just make sure that nothing fell down inside the heads. But usually if it falls down in that wide intake manifold that goes all the way across, it usually gets stuck in the bottom here where the T is at. But, uh, there it is. Not too bad. If he didn't take it, I would have taken it. The only real rust that needs to be addressed is uh, this right here. Somebody made a really kludgy mess trying to repair it. And there's a couple holes along here. That's not too big of a deal. The oval had those too, but the ovals were much bigger. Nothing wrong with the nose at all. No rust in the nose at all. That's in really, really good shape. This side needs a repair right down there. Again, pretty easy to fix. No rust that I see along here in this quarter window. And the windshield is currently installed. There might be a little rust down in the corners here, but can't tell, not yet anyway. When you open the doors though, they don't fall off. Yeah, they stay up nice and tight on the body. So there's no broken A-pillars. Next to it over here is Carlos's Beetle. And this one's much harder to photograph even with a flashlight. This shows up real great. That does not. <laughs> That's it. These things multiply like rabbits. 